Hey, good morning, sons and daughters of God. September 17th, we are to do good to our neighbors. Proverbs 3.27 says, Withhold not good from them to whom it is due when it is in the power of your hand to do it. So ready, so eager is the Savior's heart to welcome us as members of the family of God that in the very first words we are to use in approaching God, he places the assurance of our divine relationship, our Father. In calling God our Father, we recognize all his children as our brothers. We are all a part of the great web of humanity, all members of one family. In our petitions, we are to include our neighbors as well as ourselves. No one prays aright who seeks a blessing for himself alone. We are bound to the Lord by the strongest ties and the manifestation of our Father's love should call forth the most filial affection and the most ardent gratitude. The laws of God have their foundation in the most immutable rectitude and are so framed that they will promote the happiness of those who keep them. In the lesson of faith that Christ taught on the Mount are revealed the principles of true religion. Religion brings man into principle personal relation with God, but not exclusively, for the principles of heaven are to be lived out, that they may help and bless humanity. A true child of God will love him with all his heart and his neighbor as himself. He will have an interest for his fellow men. True religion is the work of grace upon the heart that causes the life to flow out in good works, like a fountain fed from living streams. Religion does not consist merely in meditation and prayer. The Christian's light is displayed in good works and is thus recognized by others. Religion is not to be divorced from the business life. It is to pervade and sanctify its engagements and enterprises. If a man is truly connected with God in heaven, the spirit that dwells in heaven will influence all his words and actions. He will glorify God in his works and will lead others to honor him. I hope you have a great day. You're a son and daughter of God.